He's on the bait of the other side here. He swam right into it. Backing up. Is he going to break it or disconnect it? He's going right back underneath the boat. You're going to do blood in the coical swabs first, and then we'll get the ultrasound started. Is it male or female? Oh, it's the male. Oh, it's the male? Ultrasound is right behind you. Did I grab it? Pablo, dale. 225. John Scott. 118, Pablo. Hasta la esperanza. So we have PCL, FL, STL. Yeah, we don't go. Okay, girth, well, girth we'll do later then. Okay. My name is Dr. Pablo García Salinas. I am a director of the Fundación Azul Marino and also a researcher in Fundación Oceanographic. And I work with shark reproduction and especially with the application of assisted reproduction techniques in sharks and rays. We are in the Cantabric Sea. This is a really good place for the life to live. This was one of the areas in Spain where there were actual sightings of white sharks. This, it's here, here, under the water. I see it. Wow. I was lucky enough to get in touch with some local fishermen. I started getting more and more information. I actually got the exact numbers where that white shark was videotaped, and it was in one of the canyons that we were looking at already. We don't know if there is an actual shark population in the coast of Spain. We know that sometimes we can see these white sharks, but we are not sure if there's a single animal that happened to pass nearby or there is an actual population. We are still don't know it. The closest canyon would be right there and this one is about 12 miles off the beach. Some of these canyons are incredible to look at. When we started speaking with the Spanish scientists, we're paying attention to the zones that they know of in the Aviles Canyon um, was one that I looked at. That's one that they mentioned. That's one of these canyons that, that um, comes out from the deep water. And that one gets to about a dozen miles off the beach, so it's not too far of a run for us and plenty of reason to go fish there. If we can get a tag on one of them, that really can change things a lot. So we are fishing for a unicorn, but we're fishing hard for a unicorn. We just had about a nine foot mature male blue shark swim by the stern, made a few different passes. If we're able to catch this big blue, we're gonna try and uh, hopefully sample them right alongside the contender. It's not the easiest scenario, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can do that. Blue sharks are one of the most widespread shark species in the world, but also is one of the most caught shark species. The fishing pressure over this animal is insane. We were able to handle two big males, and we were able to obtain a lot of information from this animal, not just samples and measurements, but also we were able to tag one of the animals and to see the movement of this animal almost on real time. The uh, Spanish scientists were unbelievably awesome. They were ready to get some blue sharks. From the moment that we knew that we have the opportunity of working with OSERT, we create a specific research crew with two things in mind. We want to mix early career scientists with more senior scientists. And also, we want to focus on the problem from multiple point of views. We want to have people working with parasites. We want to people to work with blood analysis, with ecotoxicology analysis, with production. We want to work with the white shark, attacking the problem with all the points of view as possible. The opportunity of working with OSERTS is not just in the moment that you are embarked in the vessel. Real opportunity is to establish a network with all the different countries, all the different researchers. 
We want to tell the people, yes, there are sharks in the water and we need these sharks in the water. We cannot afford to lose all the richness of species that we have in the north of the Spain, but also in France, also in Ireland, and then in the Mediterranean. We have to thank Ulcers to be able to have this crew so dedicated, so well prepared, so well trained to this specific mission and allow researchers from different backgrounds, from different places to be all united, working together from the same goal is something truly remarkable.